I'm gonna do it. No. No, and I'm not gonna do the undertones of suicide. But for all you people, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you what everybody does when they're lonely, they're mentally ill, they're homeless, or they're just wanting more money and they can't get it. They could be rich or they could be poor. I'm going to show you and I'm going to do it. And this is it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yes, these are my friends. And uh, it's been a very difficult day. An individual, well, a few, several, <laughs> more than several individuals in my family have told me that God did not create me to be gay. I'm 48 years old, I told them. I've been in and out of psychiatric hospitals to find myself and to come out of the closet because I like guys. It's just my physiology is just attracted to men. I can't control it. And so they all told me that when they go to heaven, I'm probably not going to be there. And I already live with mental illness. I already live with bipolar, psychotic current features, a little psychosis, you know, <laughs> manic depression, bipolar. One doctor says schizophrenic. Another doctor says post-traumatic stress disorder. Another one just is clinically depressed. And then another psychiatrist said, Shh, don't tell anybody. Schizoaffective. But I just tell my family I'm an artist. And I told them the whole story as well. But now I'm going to do it. And this is what I mean. It's over there. Come follow me. A lot of people hate me because, shock rock, I'm just simply trying to be who I am. People have isolated me. They have segregated me. They have separated me because they called me as a child Figgy Fag Newton, Gay Wad Newton, Queer Wad Newton. So to protect my family, because I come from Sir Isaac Newton lineage, and on my mother's side I'm Armenian aristocracy, but somehow I'm still not able to keep a boyfriend because when they find out I'm emotional and I'm actually a doctorate candidate, I'm pretty smart, they flick me off. I know, mansion, no mansion, they flick me off. Well, so, anyways, I protect my family, so I change my name to Tyler Lord Hamilton. That's all I'm going to say about that. Zip the lip for any interviews. Jay Leno, Bill Maher, The View with Whippy Goldberg, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel. I'm not going to say anything else just going to speak from the support of showing love for those that are homeless and those that have mental illness. So I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Let me show you what that is. Also, I stand up for people that have a lot of money like Donald J. Trump or even Tom Cruise. I don't know, people that can make or break you, people that might call you a prick or whatever. I'm going to do it. Here it is. These are my friends. My friend. My other friend. And my other friend. But I'm going to do it. Okay. Watch me. See? Yes. Line up all my friends. Because I'm lonely. Like everybody out there. Lonely, lonely, lonely. I'm going to do it. Okay. Now. Okay. Beautiful. I know. These are gay men. Latin, 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 Mexican, Hispanic, what have you. Aren't they adorable? And these are, those are two boys, two men. And then these are two girls. They decided they're lesbian, too. So, I've been told I'm going to hell because I like same gender. I'm one of those people. 
but shh, I'm going to do it. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. right it's very bizarre because people used to, girls when I was a child used to kick my shins and leave bruises all over me I've been highly bullied from girls at Highland High School and and Eisler Elementary in Bakersfield California when I was a child so today I think I have a little bit of problem oh my goodness okay so shh I'm gonna do it. All right, here it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my gosh, this fell off. Oh my gosh, isn't this pretty? It's so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, everybody. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it, and that's this. All right, yeah. Okay, here I go. Okay, oh my God, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah, you know what that is? Oh, you know what this is, don't you? That's right, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> You never would have thought that this is what I was going to do, and this is what I'm going to do. All right, so a very close friend from Sydney, Australia, mailed this to me. She had gotten it in London. Actually, he, he, she, the transsexual, got it in London, and gave it to me. Anyway, so that's like, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. Not pretty. I know. More grapes, yeah. See all the grapes? Pretty, yeah. And this is from Palm Springs. It was in a hotel called El Mirador Hotel. It's where the... Is it Hugh Hefner? Howard Hugh, I don't know, hired a bunch of prostitutes in Palm Springs. And so I got this when they closed down the hotel. He'd put cheats up and he'd be doing drugs and everything. Nobody will tell you about it, but I will. So, you know, you pour the wine in here. You know, you pour, you see, you know. Oh, you know what we need? We need the glass. Well, first let me open this up. Okay, so, you know, we're going to do it. Scary. Okay, so. Okay, so. Gonna do it. Gonna do it, everybody. All the Christians tell me I'm sinning. You know, I'm very lonely. They all rejected me. They told me I'm going to hell today. All the Baptists, the racist Christians. Yeah, they serve a racist God. Wait. Oh my. Okay. Uh, uh. Yeah, I know. It's been a long day. People discriminated against the gay people, the mentally ill people, and the homosexual. And all you rich people that want more money and you're depressed too and you want to commit suicide, come on over to this side. We're all going to have a party. Oh, oh, oh. See, look. Oh. See the work? Oh. Uh, look how these come up. You see how both of these sides come up? Uh, 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 I'm as excited for my wine. Everybody's telling me I'm going to hell, all the Christians. I know. Jesus isn't going to send us to hell. It's the Christians. They're all scared to have a party and have a good time. Some of them are scared to even admit that they masturbate. They hate themselves. Okay. Let's do it now. Oh, look at that. Okay, 
Scheiße. Ah. 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 Uh, anyways, so, this is the holder and everything, but I'm going to go over there and get me a glass. I want you to see the liquor station. Let me turn the webcam over there. Can you see it? See that? Okay, I'm going to walk over there. You see it? See over there? Right over there, I'm going to walk over there, okay? I don't You can't really see the, uh, oh, you can see the liquor station. Oh, uh, you see it? Okay. Here I go. Huh. Wish me luck. Oh my. Oh my god. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I gotta do it. Gotta do it. Okay. Okay, look. See, watch. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh no, well, it's not the best glass, <laughs> but this will have to work. Wait, okay. Oh my. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna drink the wine. All the Christians told me I'm going to hell with all the homeless people. Hey, you don't need to look over there anymore. Look over here. Yeah. All right, there you go. So bright. <gasps> yeah, we'll go ahead and put the light back on Joyce DeWitt. She loves us. I ask her to pray for me. There she is. The infamous Joyce DeWitt. She told me that I put a smile on her face from my heart to her heart because I've, I have a, well, let's just say, I have overcome obstacles with Courage and grace. I love you, Joyce. Mwah. And over there is is uh, Shirley MacLaine. She's the other one that prays for me. See she? Okay. So here I am. I know. Glenn Close has said very amazing things to me when I was performing with her cousin, Danny Corey. And then also Carol Channing said some amazing things to me when I was performing as well. Okay, so. <laughs> God, let's put that over there. Now let's just go ahead and bring this one out of the... Oh, look how pretty that is. So upscale. I know. Anyways. Well, let's just go ahead and glamorize the alcoholism all together and just go ahead and pitch that thing up like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, pitch that thing up like that. Oh, you see that woman over there? That's a portrait of Cher. And over here, the gray one, you see? Right over here is a portrait of... Edith Piaf, and I still have friends and family that tell me I'm going to go to hell because I'm a homosexual. Can you believe that? It's terrible. So, let's glamorize the alcoholism. Right, all you poor people, that pretty, how classy it is. See all the glass? Oh my. Wait, okay, there you go. <laughs> so here I am. We're going to glamorize alcoholism. Because of all the Christians that are two-faced, that uh, only give out of excess, and they can't give any more of themselves because they're greedy and they're selfish, let alone they can't even open up their hearts to love on those that are gay, that are... Uh, in fact, I had a, a ex-boyfriend that just passed away, by the way, of a drug overdose in the peninsula in Beverly Hills. And uh, it was a mysterious death. I, I don't know, I think somebody got him loaded or something like that. And so what happened is, oh, so sorry, I don't have all my rings. <laughs> Can't be perfect all the time. So people, some guys stole his Rolex ring, some hot muscular actors in L.A. They were there for the cocaine. But anyways, that's illegal. We don't do any illegal things. But we're in the privacy of our own mansion. Here I am in Sweet Beverly, Beverly Hills. We go ahead and do what? I know. We drink. <sighs> Look at this. I know. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. We're going to do this with style. And yes, we are here to get drunk. That's right, because all the Christians told us we're going to hell. 
Keep pouring. Keep pouring. Keep it pouring. <laughs> Can't pour that glass. Alright, alright. It's not very classy, but you know, honey, we're talking about the pour. I want you to be able to see this. <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and just take that down. It's so difficult. Let's just put this right over here. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. So, what we decided to do is we decided to do a campaign against all the racist politicians. I know, the politicians out there that are anti-gay are not exempt. And we're just going to sit here with our glass of wine. That's right. Oh, I need more light. Sorry, Joyce DeWitt. All right. Anyway, so here we are. Gonna drink the glass of wine and just sit and talk about how racist everybody is, the Christians and everything. I know. I know, my transsexual friend from Sydney also mailed me these two, but they actually came from China. <laughs> and I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Good times. To my clown friends over there sitting on the sofa. Hi, guys. Okay. Oh, I'm excited to just let it go. Oh, my God. Look at that thigh. <laughs> it's so Richard Simmons, isn't it? Hi, Richard Simmons. He called me many years ago. Let me take a sip. Uh, so, Richard, this is, this is a pain in the ass. So, Richard Simmons called me. And, uh, I was living in Santa Barbara back then. I was going between Montecito, Carmel, Sausalito, Susan Beach, San Francisco, Nob Hill. This morning, that morning he called me. I was up in San Francisco, or no, I was up in Santa, oh, I was in Santa Barbara. And he calls me on the telephone. And he said, Tyler Lord Hamilton. I says, yes, Richard. And basically, he's like, you have a stinking heart. I says, honey, why are you talking to me like that? Just a second. I'm sweating and I got to get out my Chanel. One moment, please. But he told me I had a stinking heart because I like to care for people before I care and take care of my own needs, which is true. And then he told me that he loved me. And then I fell in love with him. That's another story. So before he went into seclusion and before he closed down Slimmons, I was basically the final last one that was trying to take that guy out for a date. I know. Why not? I'm Tyler Lord Hamilton. The upchuck from a few people in my family that tell me I'm going to hell. <laughs> it's sad. Uh, let me get back to you. I've got to bring in the Chanel. Oh, I'll bring in some flowers, too. Why don't we do that while you wait for me? Okay. Oh, it's so beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, I'll be back. These are the flowers. I know, everything's very luxurious. This is Beverly Hills, sweet Beverly. I'll be right back. Got to bring the Chanel makeup out. Before I do that, I got to take another sip. To all you homeless people and alcoholic people and greedy people and people that are probably going down like Donald J. Trump because you're a winner. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Well, actually, this might work. This is my grandmother's boss when she had breast cancer. God bless her soul. I love her. She's Armenian. Yeah, that's where I got all the genetics from. Okay. Oh, gosh. Whew. I am really getting smashed, everybody. Okay, so. Oh, okay. All right. 
Look how cute that is. You men know what that stands for. I'll put this right over here so you can see it. Oh, oh yeah. See how pretty that is? Oh, those beautiful flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, love it. Okay. Oh, so anyway, so what else do I need to tell you about myself? I used to work at the White House. And, uh, I don't know, I'm very uncomfortable right now. I think a person just get on some Chanel makeup. I used to work at the Shakespeare National, whatever, Guild, Theater, whatever have you, right adjacent from Congress. I used to live in Capitol Hill. It's where I got mugged by three black men. I know. No where you grabs. I love black men. Now these scared the crap out of me. You three black men in Washington, D.C., if you can see me right now, I want you to know I forgive you, and I'm sorry I didn't give you more money. <laughs> I hid it in my touche. That's right. What touche? This touche. Let me show you. See that touche? See? Right there, I hid my money. I know, I don't like to see, show you that white. <sighs> the chair has to remain gold-plated. <laughs> like my men. <laughs> just joking. So, anyways, uh, I don't know, I'm just very lonely tonight. Uh, suicide uh, went through my mind a couple times. I'm not going to commit suicide, but I was just thinking about everybody that uh, has a lot of pain. A lot of hurt. Oh, there you go. And, oh, oh my goodness. I was just thinking about all the men out there. And, uh, um, all the pain out there for all you men, I, you know, with all joking aside and all glam aside, I do this just for sh celebrity. But like Ella Fitzgerald always did, she hung out with the prostitutes in Hollywood between her recording sessions. And also like Jesus Christ, he hung out with the prostitutes and also the thieves. And he hung out in the corner with a prisoner. He's a good guy. And these days, Jesus Christ also was homeless and broke most of his life. And these days, people don't have that humility. And they tell you to give money uh, uh, to tithe. Jesus didn't ask that when he was in ministry. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald is another story. But these are things that really uh, mind fuck uh, if you don't like the terminology, get over it. If you are uh, younger than 21, you have to turn this off. One, two, three, four, five. And if you didn't turn it off, fuck you. Uh, shock rock, sorry, duh. Uh, you learn these things in junior high anyway, so I didn't break any YouTube uh, community guidelines. Go ahead and try to flag me. So, what we're talking, it's true. I'm tired of everybody meddling with everybody's business and nitpicking and pointing the finger at everybody like nobody's perfect enough. Isn't that true? Nobody can ever be perfect enough in America. Everybody is rejecting one another, cheating one another, adultery, family wrecking, wives hooking up with married men uh, that can't keep their zipper up behind their wives back so these married women are with these married men and va boom ruins the family so you have all these things happening in a heterosexual community but people can't accept gay men i can't tell you i don't know how many married men have come my way and every single one i when i found out they were straight and married I, it, they usually come over here because it's rich fag American. They know there's like a lot of money, the people I know, and blah, 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 blah. And so I tell them, I says, men, if your wife is tatted up, 
and she's body pure. She's probably okay with you being bi curious. So go back to your wife. It's 2018. You're not a get it into, You're not going to be getting it. Ooh, the put in dentures. I can barely even speak. <laughs> Why don't we put in Chanel dentures? <laughs> Shock rock, sorry, duh. We're so wealthy, darling, that we can throw our Chanel away. <laughs> Hello, Paris Hilton. I didn't tell you this story. I'm trying to get invited to her wedding in November in Beverly Hills. Actually, I want my Chanel. <laughs> Just a second. That was all for theater fandom and my iconic star image and my drama. Just persona, everybody. Let me get my Chanel. I love my Chanel. Oh, while well, I bent down, look what I found. Found more of my shebang wonga 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 wonga. Let me be back. Okay, so <sighs> the show isn't finished, boys. We just got the party started. So I tell so many men, go back to your wives, get the heck out of uh, you know, our brothels. You know, Palm Springs brothels and everything. I'm joking. <laughs> So, I'm bored, I'm creative, I haven't really found people that I can collaborate with, everybody's snobby, they expect free meals, free cars, free mansions, free everything from me. I tell everybody, I says, I'm not the federal government. <laughs> Actually, I would give out of what I need, I give out of what I don't have, I stick up my head to help people, and above all, I clothe the naked. I feed the starving, and I house the homeless the best I can. I've done all I can with my money, and I need people to come along the side of Social Alchemy Project Access Management and kind of help out with the outreach bit at all. But I have something I wanted to show you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Beautiful wine. Mm. Not cheap at all. Wait, I'm losing my lipstick. I gotta bring in some more Chanel. One moment, please. <laughs> Listen, I'm not doing this to show off. I'm doing this as a alert to find love. I really am. I'm scared of homelessness. I'm scared of being alone. And I'm scared of having an abortion. <laughs> If I got pregnant up by the JJ. I'm joking, I don't have the JJ. Shock rock, sorry, duh. Everybody's trying so hard to be perfect. I think people need to have fun. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I'm on my way. I'll be right there in a second. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not drunk. I'm just pretending. So all you Christians out there that think I'm a drunkard and I'm a bum and I'm going to hell because drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. You're wrong. I'm not drunk. <laughs> I'm feeling a little tipsy. People, when you get tipsy like this, make sure you don't drink and drive, baby doll. I know I look ugly, and I don't care. All my life I've been trying to per be perfect. I was nominated as Mr. Nude Palm Springs. Darling, I did it for love. Couldn't keep my ex-boyfriend. When he found out I was driving Jaguar, he started driving a Jaguar. I know what happened. He cheated on me. Every single boyfriend slash husband I had all cheated on me. You give them everything you got, they want more. Oh, wait. It's true. Look how beautiful that color is. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, 
for all you biatches out there. I don't have to put lip liner on and I don't have to get my lipstick in line with the lip. Hmm. It's the new look. It's called Filthy Gorgeous. It's a term that was created in New York City. But I'm not in New York right now. Look. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. <laughs> so I'm in love with Paris Hilton. She's marrying a man, Chris, what have you. I thought, well, you know, maybe she could make me straight. I love women. It's just physiologically, from the navel down, nothing happens. But you're probably asking. What is this yellow thing that's around my back? I'll show you what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's part of my regalia. I love you, everyone. Really, I would take a bullet for you. I'm getting into politics, public administration, community organizer, you know the drill, know a lot about budgeting and everything, everything and everything and everything and every freaking fucking thing. And we're going to do an amazing thing for social justice, prevalence, and democracy promotion without force. So, I am unfolding everything so you can kind of see what we have. And this is what we have. All right. <laughs> That's right. I'll drink to that. We're gonna finish that whole bottle tonight. Oh my goodness. I have to fix the see this is a Logitech webcam. Hi. So the reason why uh, people are I've been on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Jimmy Kimmel knows my name. Uh, Shirley MacLaine knows my name, Joyce DeWitt from uh, Three's Company, Janet Wood knows my name, some other people know my name. I know, Hotman know my name, John Travolta knows my name, my I love that man. If I could just take him out for coffee at the Polo Lounge at the Beverly Hills Hotel, we don't have to sit in the Charlie Chaplin booth, John Travolta. That's where... Charlie Chaplin cut all his dills. I'll sit you at the Elizabeth Taylor booth at the Polo Lounge of the Beverly Hills Hotel. The, the dame Elizabeth Taylor would sit there. One moment before I finish the story. And also Marilyn Monroe used to sit at the booth. And Groucho Marx would always take her there for lunch because he wanted her candy. That's right, her trap. And she never slept with Groucho Marx. Let's see what that does, right, baby? This is what it does. Do you see how that works? Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm spilling it all over myself. Aww. Do you hear it? It's called wine pee pee. Oh my, it's terrible. It's built all over myself. Wait. Oh my god, that's marijuana. Put that how did that marijuana get there? Oh I'm so excited I have marijuana. But anyways, this is the uh I'll have to clean this up later, but first I want to demonstrate what this does. See, watch. Honey, I'm so wealthy, I don't care if I get the place stained. I'll just redo it all. But yes, I love John Travolta, and I love that man. I think he's fabulous. And uh, Church of Scientology is a great church. I had a free month for six months, that is. For Scientology, gave them as much money as I possibly could, and uh, you know, I just think that they need to start giving money to LGBT because we are the highest and heaviest carrier of STD in the nation out here in Los Angeles, WeHo, Tinseltown, 
and Tom Cruise, and now everybody thinks that they're better than WeHo, and I understand that. Honey, I'm Miss Beverly. You're safe with me, Tom. Love Tom Cruise. But for John Travolta, I just want to cry on his shoulder. Because I just want to stay alive. <laughs> yeah, staying alive, staying alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Staying alive, staying alive, staying alive. Yeah. Anyway, so let me put the webcam up so you can see me with my regalia. <laughs> and, you know, I just, you know, gay or straight, you know, I just want love. Do you know what I mean? Really, I do. I just want love. And if I have to perform to get people to show me love, then I will perform. I will perform. I will perform for John Travolta. Yes. 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 Wow. Look at that stomach. Oh, it's flat. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not propositioning myself for any type of SCX. All this wine. Oh, a, see, I'm trying to put this all on the floor. I spill wine all over my britches. So, I guess that's really about the show. And I just wanted to say, this is like a... It's really a social advocacy for those that are living with uh, mental illness... Uh, homosexuality, people that are afraid of uh, uh, bad things to happen to them because they're not showing people money. And, you know, all you people that really uh, <clears throat> have had a hard time with your social welfare, and you do know I'm putting on Chanel, don't you? But, you know, I just wanted to let you know that I'm trying to do all I can in the power of celebrities so that I can begin with you. Because it's not about me, it's about giving you Social Alchemy Project Access Management, which is the company name. And I want to be your Harvey Milk. If you don't know the story of Harvey Milk, he's from San Francisco. He was getting ready to become mayor, and he got shot. Diane Feinstein was right there. So all you Republicans that don't like Diane Feinstein, do a story search on her backstory because uh, you're very surprised at what she has gone through for many years before she really became hated. And uh, she's a really amazing person that had a lot of love for uh, Harvey Milk. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I also believe that not only for the defeated and distraught, but the wealthy, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And all you men that know when a beautiful man is there, and maybe it fits affects you physiologically. My goodness, I have to put in cinders. I can barely even speak. <laughs> oh no. We put in the Chanel dentures. <laughs> but really, um, I know I'm annoying myself. I'm getting on my own nerves, but I'm not suicidal. I'm wacko harmless. I'm not wacko harmful. But for everybody that understands uh, greed and only going where the money trail leads which is often lies there is a major work that needs to be done outside of that and in that work it involves heart it involves empathy and it involves people that know that it as much as one is lucky not everybody is lucky not everybody has been wired, their brains, to buck the fuck and fuck the buck. Not everybody has a strength to lie to the IRS. Not everybody has a strength to lie to other people. Some people are honest. I believe that 
Tom Cruise and John Travolta are very honest people, and I believe that people need to give them a break and leave them alone, along with Richard Simmons. And living in Los Angeles, you can go throughout the city and you can find about 48 areas of the city looks like a third world country. And I believe that with our money, with our capital, with the help of Oprah Winfrey, we can end homelessness permanently in Los Angeles for our generation. These are just some of the things that Social Alchemy Project Access Management will propose. But for the most part, I am crazy for Tom Cruise. And I am producing a show called Crazy Me for Tom. And never before since the death of Patsy Cline has anyone ever remastered the song Crazy. And I'm doing that in the show. It's going to be a VIP. It'll be a free concert. But in the e VIP invites, we're looking at standing up for the defeated, standing up for the friendless, and standing up for the unlovely. I happen to be a gay man. I'm not doing this for sex. I'm doing this because I live in a marginalized group. I've had a knife put over my head. I've been lied to because people thought I had money. I've been left alone because I told predators and perpetrators that I don't want to be used anymore after I finally learned that I was being used. I've been raped by coercion. That means being taken out to expensive dinners. And all my life I've been looking for my psychological masculinity. And in the shock rock and everything that I give you, I don't mean to be offensive, but I do this to bring laughs to people in the deprivation and the demise and the degraded and the debauched, and those that have been hurt because sex was used as a weapon. Whether it be the Sexual Assault Recovery and Prevention, whether it be the Gay and Lesbian Alliance, we're looking at a very select social population that has been discriminated against. And I think people like Tom Cruise at Church of Scientology would be very interested in knowing that we're laying down a very important and prestigious work to help men that can't help themselves, and also to be a teacher of morality. I love you very much in the social transformative growth that you have, your own alchemy, your own metamorphoses, and your own catharsis. And uh, <clears throat> I'd like to show you how fab this is from my friends from Sydney, Australia that are trans. I know LGBT is a soft hit. People are going around saying LGBT this and LGBT that. But in the midst of political homosexuality and gender politics, it's about standing by the side of the gay man that's absolutely hurting. And I would like for Mr. Cruz and Mr. Travolta to consider that. I'll pay for coffee at the Polo Lounge you don't have to sit at the Charlie Chaplin booth where we cut dills. You can sit at any other booth. It could be Marilyn Monroe and Groucho Marx booth or the Dame Elizabeth Taylor's booth. But I would like to talk about what we can do in the ethical, welcoming, collective consciousness. Oh my goodness, I have to put in my dentures. I could barely even speak. <laughs> oh, much better. I know. I'm like... I'm fab. But listen. In loving the unlovely and being friends of the friendless and putting out your heads to do good to one another and to give out of what you need and to give out of what you don't have I would like every political elite 
including a Harvey Weinstein, as well as Corey Feldman, or the Jackson family, specifically Toya. She's so hot. I might be gay, but my goodness, she turns me on. I love Latoya Jackson. I wanted to marry her for a period. We have important work to start, and that is to teach people to own up, to not be little boys, but to be real men, and to engage and unite to ignite for their own social alchemy. And when we do that, we're going to have safer global communities in a global human family. I love you. And for there to be your legacy, and for there to be your social alchemy project that I would leave you if I were to take the bullets, I want you to know, I'm not looking to be killed, to be assassinated, but I would take the bullet. I will not be on the cross, because one man got it right, Jesus Christ, they put him on the cross, it wasn't L. Ron Hubbard, and for all you people that feel like you have to be the martyr, for all you homosexuals that want to kill yourselves because you're not loved properly, get off of the cross. We need wood for the fire. And you're invited to the bonfire. And together, we have an amazing collective consciousness, an ethical welcoming collective consciousness. And if Church of Scientology wants to be part of this men's movement, be my guest. I am creating original social science theories for men because it is a social science emergency for men and has to do with homosexuality. And it's time for us not to be bashful. My goodness, I have to put in dentures. I can barely even speak. And Chanel does not even measure up. <laughs> I am not putting down Chanel, I am not defaming Chanel's reputation, and they don't have to sue. I'm just joking. In the world of money, and people chasing their black dragon's red tail because of greed and corruption, everybody trying to be a winner, everybody trying to get money out of people, and squeezing money out of people, I don't mean any harm to Chanel, and I don't mean any harm to Mr. Cruz or Mr. Travolta. I just want you to know that my heart is breaking and I moved to Los Angeles because I want to be part of a very important men's movement. <laughs> Even though I have been drinking a couple of glasses of wine. I'm sober from crystal meth. I'm not a prostitute. I'm working on a PhD. I'm a doctorate candidate. I'm a writer, I'm a trained opera singer, and I'm just looking for a way to make good out of the power of celebrity. I love you, and I could use your time, and I'll tell you, a coffee is on me at the Beverly Hills Hotel at the Polo Lounge, and if it happens to be Paris Hilton, or Joyce DeWitt, or Shirley MacLaine, Please meet me. Please. I love you. And I will take the bullet like Harry Milk. <laughs> I think I said all I needed to say as an attention whore. I love you all.